Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Mandavi Shukla. So today is one of my, my series and today's topic is why do we drink? So let's go. So have you ever wondered why do we get these crazy dreams in our heads every night? Well, scientists have a few ideas that why do we get dreams? So while we sleep, it might seem like our brains and bodies are switching off and resting. But while the rest of the body is resting and recharging, our brain is actually working pretty hard. While we dream, some of the parts of the brain are turned on, like the parts which focus on the feelings. And the rest of the parts are switched off, like the parts which does most of the complicated thinking, like by asking great questions, like why are you able to fly, for example, have turned off. While we sleep, the brain goes through a various bunch of steps and then starts from the beginning. So, first, your uh, sleep is very light. It might seem you're still awake, even while you're dozing off. But after that, your sleep gets a little deeper. You might even get a few dreams. But that is more about what did you do that day. It's nothing too weird. But then comes the weirdest part of the night. At this stage, your body is completely still. But behind your eyelids, your eyes are moving really fast here and there. This stage is called rapid eye movement or REM sleep. At this moment, you get the most weirdest epic story-like dreams. Some people remember a lot of details about their dreams and some people don't. But even if you don't remember your dream that much, you still have them. Everybody does and even some animals do. All mammals like dogs, cats, humans and rats experience REM sleep and even some birds do. But now, why does our brain put up this big production for us every night? We may never know for sure, but scientists have a few ideas. Over the course of the day, we are smelling, seeing, tasting, feeling millions of little details about the world around us. So when we sleep, our brain sorts out all the things we saw, tasted, sensed in our day. And then it finds out what is the most important thing we learned. And then after finding out the most important thing we learned in the day, our brain makes a dream about it. And when we see the dream in our hands, then we are able to remember the most important thing in the day forever. So example, if you learned in your school that octopus has blue blood, then maybe when you sleep, you'll get a dream about meeting an octopus having blue blood. So you can remember that fact forever. Dreams also help us to sort out our feelings. If in the day you're feeling scared or worried about something, then maybe you'll get a dream about being scared or worried about a different thing. So you'll be prepared to tackle the scary thing next morning. Some people take the help of dreams to figure out what's bothering them. And lots of creative people, like people who make movies or write songs, get most of their ideas from dreams. They see a dream about a big crazy thing and then they have an idea next morning. But other scientists think dreams are not focusing on feelings or memories at all. They just think that it's just a brain calming down after a long day. So whatever our dreams are used for, we know that sleep is really important for our body. And on that note, even if we never find out what dreams are used for, we can just sleep, have a dream and enjoy the adventure our dream is waiting for us. Thank you for watching my channel, Madhuri Shukla. What is the weirdest dream you ever had? Tell me in the comments on below. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Bye-bye.